Now, as you know, Stephen and I have been learning to skate over the past few weeks, and we were just starting to feel a little bit demoralised by our lack of ability when we got some extra, extra inspiration. Yes, yeah, so we went down to the television studios where ITV One's Dancing on Ice is made to get some from the stars themselves. These are the famous Elstree Studios in Hertfordshire. I was like Audrey Hepburn, Gregory Peck, Errol Flynn, they've all worked here. Behind me, this is the George Lucas soundstage where the original Star Wars trilogy were made. And on the TV side, if you look over there, that is the Big Brother house, of course. And around the corner, film Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But we're here, of course, to talk skating. Because this is also where Dancing on Ice is made, and we've come to see the celebrities in training. This morning, Claire Buckfield was first to go through her routine. And then, guess who Kieran Bracken turn on the ice? It's a case of smiling really well, and no matter how bad it's going, is to smile, because even though you think you're tripping or making a mistake, if you've got that smile, then they'll just be looking at your beautiful teeth and um, have a connect, try and have a connection performance with the song as well, with Steve, we would try and have that connection with him. And if he, even if he makes a mistake, we'll make it part of it. That's the idea. I'd have lessons where I wouldn't feel that I was progressing and I'd be really frustrated with myself and I just still couldn't do a backwards crossover and it was just doing my head in. And then all of a sudden, it just clicked. And then I was like, oh, I can do it now. And the more you practice, the more you, the better you're going to get. The main rink is reserved for the night of the show and the eagle-eyed among you have been in touch this week to say you spotted us in the audience last Saturday. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take a camera in to film that visit, but we did manage to record a sneaky critique on our mobile phones. It spurred me on and uh, fingers crossed, hopefully I can at least, if I can try and reach at least some of that standard, I'll be very pleased. They're so good, aren't they? It made us got a lot of hard work to do. And it also made me realise I don't want props in our routine. I think we've got quite enough to handle. Thank you very much. So, plenty of inspiration and no excuses for a half-hearted effort this week. Next week, we'll show you the full route, whether we're ready or not. Ooh, flesh-coloured tights and a body warmer. Not a good look. Oh, well, you wait <laughs> to see what we're wearing next week and that'll make an improvement. <laughs> Actually, I must ask before we go on, who did you like more, Kieran Bracken or Duncan James? I couldn't possibly. <laughs> How could you ask me a question uh, like that? I'll ask you later. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something else we can show you as well. Now, while we finish our uh, routine today, now Lysantha decided to get a bit overexcited and picked Claire up, and there she is being spun round and round. Oh, Luckily, I that's not me, it. because you wouldn't have walked away if that had been me, I have to say. <laughs> I'd have been somewhere over the other side of the ring if you've been doing anything. <laughs> did that make you feel sick? I bet it did. Yes, it did. It was very exciting at the time, but afterwards I couldn't stand up. No way could I have skated away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. OK, so don't forget to watch next week for the final one. Here's the weather now with Wendy.